Hello students, welcome back to 60 out of 60 in KSET Chemistry 2025 series in just 200 days. So yes, as you know, we have started this PYQ series. It is very, very important to understand the previous year questions pattern. So today we are going to discuss the top 40 questions from the chapter aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid. Okay. So if, if you would have seen my previous PYQs vid uh, videos in every chapter, I take top 30 because that is what is the question being asked from the last 10 years. But in this particular chapter, I got like more than uh, like 40 questions almost I got. So that says that this chapter is a very high weightage topic. You can easily expect three to four questions every year from this particular chapter. Okay. So please make sure that you revise, you master this chapter very well. Okay. So we have taken the last 10 years top 40 questions from 2014 to 2024. And all these questions are, you can see a repetitive pattern in them. So I'll be discussing that. So please watch this complete video and do not forget to join our WhatsApp channel. Link will be there in the description section. So this will help you to get access to our PDF uh, notes, to our mock test solutions. Everything is available in our WhatsApp channel. So please join it. This will be really, really helpful for you. And one more thing before you start this video, please sit with a notebook and a pen and try to answer the questions. First see the question pause the video, write your answer and then check the solution. If you are getting fine, that is correct. But if you are getting wrong, mark the question, understand the solutions and then go to the next question. I hope this is clear. Now let's get started without any further delay. So the first question here is uh, from 2024, very simple question, propanon and propanol are which type of isomers, okay? So I can say very easy question. These are like two functional groups with the same molecular formula. So these are functional isomers. Option number B will be correct answer. Now next question, uh, sodium ethanoid on heating with soda lime. Okay, sodium ethanoid on heating with sodium soda lime gives X. Electrolysis of aqueous solution of sodium ethanoid gives Y. X and Y respectively are. So 2024 question again. Okay. So now if you see here, uh, we have sodium ethanoid, right? So that means CH3 CO O minus Na plus. Okay. Sodium ethanoid on heating with soda lime gives what? So if this part, if you heat with soda lime, carbon dioxide will go and I'll get CH4. Okay. So X has to be methane. Okay, X has to be methane. So we can eliminate option number C and D. Next, electrolysis of aqueous solution of sodium ethanoid gives Y. Now, if you do this one, electrolysis, okay. In case of electrolysis, what happens? We get CH3 radical, okay. And another CH3 radical is formed. These two combine to give you C2H6 and this is ethane, right. So here, this has to be... Uh, methane and ethane. So option number A will be the correct answer here. Next question, uh, butane on reaction with dilute H2SO4 in presence of Hg2 plus ions at 333 Kelvin gives. So 2024 question, easy question. You should remember the uh, basic things like what is the role of mercuration and demercuration. So Hg2 plus and H2SO4, this is your, I can write like this. Hg2 plus and H plus is oxymercuration and demercuration reaction. What does it do? It do H plus and OH minus are added following Markovnikov's rule that is no doubt here but has no carbocation rearrangement. Okay, there has to be no carbocation rearrangement. Now if I see first butane, okay, so butane is like this, okay, so Mm, yeah. So if I take butane like this, okay, and you add Hg2 plus and H2SO4, what will that do? Add H and OH following Markovnikov's rule. So here if I see less number of hydrogen are with this carbon, so OH will be attached here. So we will get like this, okay. So we will get OH and H, okay. Now what will happen? Now there will be tautomerization, right? If there is tautomerization, then the product will be CH3, CH2, C double bond O and CH3, 
okay so this one will give you butane 2 o n e and the correct answer for this question will be option number a okay in the preparation of ketone we have this reaction next question is about a uh, hybridization change involved at c1 in the above reaction 2023 question okay this is also a very easy question based on hybridization c1 you if you can see this is your c1 and this is your c1 right here the structure is like this c1 only i'm drawing ch2 it is ch2 oh and this side this group is attached and in the next carbon if you see we have c double bond oh okay and in the next side it is attached now here you can see we have four sigma bonds if four sigma bonds that means sp3 hybridized here you can see we have three sigma bonds that is sp2 hybridized right so from sp3 to converted to sp2 carbon that is option number b okay next question number uh, four that it is a given a reaction is given you need to find y and z okay i hope this question is clear so question was asked again in 2023 reaction based question easy question i can say so first of all if you uh, you have to just tell the name of the reaction okay formation of x formation of y and formation of z are known by okay so if you see formation of cn and using sncl2 and hcl okay this is nothing but your stefan reaction right so we can eliminate option number a b and c now after i re react with stefan reaction i'll be getting the product as benzaldehyde okay now we are getting two products with concentrated koh and that is your canizaro reaction which gives you oxidized product and reduced product so this will be x now if you treat it with concentrated naoh or koh as given in the question we will get one oxidized product that is coo minus na plus and we'll get one reduced product that is ch2oh okay so option number d will be the correct answer okay next question number 5 ethanoic acid undergoes hell wallet zelinski reaction but methanoic acid does not because of 2022 question carboxylic acid very easy question about hvz reaction so if you remember what is happening in hvz reaction if we have like this any compound okay and you treat it with x2 in presence of red phosphorus what we get is ch2 COOH and this X, this H gets converted to X. Sorry, one second. Here I did a mistake. This has to be H, right? This H gets converted to X. Now, what does this tell? This is an alpha hydrogen. If there is alpha hydrogen in present in a carboxylic acid in presence of X2 and red phosphorus, it that alpha hydrogen gets halogenated. Okay, so you can say that is methanoic acid structure is like this. Right, and methanoic has acid has no alpha hydrogen. That is why it does not react. Okay, so we can have absence of alpha hydrogen in ethanoic acid. Uh, sorry, one second, but that is wrong. Higher acidic strength that is not presence of alpha hydrogen in methanoic acid. That is wrong. Presence of alpha hydrogen in ethanoic acid. That is why that is reacting. Methanoic acid is not reacting. Option number D will be the correct answer here. Next, the general name of the compound formed by the reaction between aldehydes and alcohols. So, this is also 2022 question, nucleophilic addition reaction. If you remember, we have ROH plus you have any carbonyl compound. This one attacks here. So, we will get here uh, C, then we get OR, okay, and OH, okay. Next, what happens if you again add, so this, this part is hemiacetal hemiacetal now if you add further roh okay further if you add roh what will happen this one will attack here and this bond will shift we will get or dash and or dash and this is your acetal right so compound name will be acetal option number d will be the correct answer next question number seven reactions by which benzaldehyde cannot be prepared is okay you cannot prepare benzaldehyde by which reaction okay so if you see uh, we have uh, first of all we have tolvin tolvin with cro2 cl2 in presence of cs2 and h3o plus this one is possible this is your itard reaction right yes 
Next, if you have benzoyl chloride and treat it with H2, this is your Rosenmon reaction, we can still prepare here. Now, if you see benzene and treat it with CO and HCl in presence of anhydrous AlCl3, this one will also be able to re, uh, react. But if you use benzene with Z and Hg and concentrated HCl, this will not give you. So, correct answer here will be option number D. Okay. Next question, the test to difference between pentane 2 ONE and pentane 3 ONE. 2022 question, chemical reactions, easy question, 30 seconds is enough. If you remember about iodoform test, right? Pentane 2 ONE structure is like this, okay? And pentane 3 ONE structure is like this, right? This is pentane 2 ONE and this is pentane 3 ONE, okay? Now, for iodoform test, we must have this acyl group that is CH3CO group must be present. If this is present then it will give a yellow precipitate and we can easily distinguish between them. So, the correct answer here will be option number B that is iodoform test. Okay. Next question number 9, an organic compound X on treatment with PCC in dichloromethane okay, uh, gives a compound Y. Okay, so an organic compound X with treatment with PCC gives Y. Okay, now compound Y reacts with I2 in presence of alkali to form a yellow precipitate. Okay, to form a yellow precipitate of tri triiodomethane. Okay, compound X is. Okay, now if you see after giving PCC, we are getting Y. Okay which is a I2 alkali, it is giving you iodoform test. That means this must be a compound which is having CH3CO group, okay. It can be anything we do not know. Now, but we know that X on treating with PCC is giving you this one means X has to be one alcohol group, right, because X alcohols on mild oxidation can give you carbonyl compounds. So, we definitely need one alcohol. So, this is, this is not there, this is also not there, this has to be the correct answer that is option number C, okay, because this is not an aldehyde, this is not alcohol, this is also not alcohol, this is also not alcohol. Simple question, 10th one now. So, set of reactions is given, you need to identify D. Question was asked in 2021, okay. So, first of all, if SOCl2 is added, so I will get CH3COCl, this is option A, I will get, sorry, A product will form. Then if you treat it with benzene and AlCl3, so, benzene with AlCl3 will give you COCH3, okay. Next, if you treat it with HKCN, that is nucleophilic addition, we will get COHCN and CH3. Now, if you do hydrolysis, what will happen? This CN will get converted to COOH, okay. So, we will get C. CH3, OH and COOH, okay. So, now if I see which product I am getting, I think we will get uh, option number D here, okay. So, the correct answer for this question will be option number D, okay. I hope this question is clear, very simple question, reaction based question. Okay, next question you have been asked in 2021, again a chemical reaction based question, easy question I will tell, acetaldehyde with H, A, B, C and respectively R, okay. Acetaldehyde is taken, okay, and you are reacting with this following things, HgSO4 and H2SO4, uh, okay, next we have PCC and then you are reacting with SnCl2 and HCl, okay, fine. So, acetaldehyde is the product formed here, right. One second. So, okay, I, one second, yeah. So, which one on a giving HgSO4 and H2SO4 gives you an aldehyde? That should be an alkyne group, okay. Alkyne means it should be ethyne group, okay. So, we have first two options where ethyne is present, so we can eliminate A and B. Next, PCC means it should be a primary alcohol because it is an aldehyde. So, here it is ethanol, here it is ethane nitrile, so we can eliminate this option. Option number C will be the correct answer. Then, if you see nitrile, if you take, Stefan reduction will happen and then still we can get uh, the uh, acetaldehyde, okay. Next question, the reagent which can do this following conversion, CH3OH to CH2OH. So, reduction of acids 2021, easy question, reagent should be lithium aluminum hydrides can give you, okay. Here I will tell you, 
aldehydes and ketones can be reduced with NaBH4 okay to give you alcohols but acids for redu reducing acids we need what a strong reducing agent like LiAlH4 to give you alcohols okay so A will be the correct answer next which is the most suitable reagent for the following conversion so what is the conversion happening you can see that this bond has broken okay and it has converted to an acid so if you remember this bond will break only if there is a iodoform reaction right so we can have i2 and naoh solution option number c will be the correct answer here next question number 14 so if you see this reaction the product a where is product a okay product a gives you a white precipitate when treated with bromine water product b is treated with barium hydroxide to give product C okay the compound C is heated strongly to form product D the end product D is okay so this is first of all the uh, preparation of phenol cumin process right the commercial method and A is reacting with your bromine water to give you white precipitate that is your that means A must be phenol right A must be phenol and the other product formed that is B is acetone right this is clear a and b okay next uh, we have n product b is treated with barium hydroxide to give product c so if you treat it with barium hydroxide which reaction is this do you think this is nothing but aldol condensation reaction right so what we will get so aldol condensation how to write the product i taught you a trick right so let us apply the trait and write down the product first mm, yeah so i have like this see ch3 co ch3 and write down the same compound below it okay then what you need to do you need to connect the alpha hydrogen with the carbonyl carbon and then you have to remove one hydrogen here okay and you need to add a hydrogen to the oh group okay this one will be the product now i can write like this this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five so i can write a chain of five carbons okay so first i will write like ch3 okay let me write it on the other side mm, one second yeah so i'll write it here so first carbon is ch3 okay then second carbon i have c o h and c h 3 next third carbon i have c h 2 then fourth carbon i have c double bond o and fifth carbon i have c h 3 now here what will happen after heating strongly means there will be dehydration so we will form the most stable alki uh, stable alkene is formed so this is there and this one can be removed and here we will get double bond okay so now if we see product d is 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so we will get 4 methyl okay 4 methyl is present here and this is wrong this is wrong and this is wrong then i'll get 4 methyl pent 3 en pent 3 en and 2 one correct answer will be option number a okay so here uh, identifying barium hydroxide as a reagent can be little tough for some students but yes aldol condensation is the major topic in aldehydes so definitely you need to re uh, re revise that next question number 15 same aldehyde uh, aldol condensation reaction 2021 okay chemical reactions easy question so what i will do i will write the first you know here there is uh, no alpha hydrogen so definitely this cannot attack rather this one will attack here ch3 coh okay so this one will attack here this will become ch2 this will become oh so how will i write mm, okay then here there will be dehydration and we'll get a double bond so first let me write the product correctly i'll get c double bond here coh here h here next i'll get ch2 here ch2 here and c double bond oh now this one will dehydrate and i'll get a double bond here okay so the product will be option number b that is option number b here clear 
Now question number 16, the carbonyl compounds that does not undergo aldol condensation. If it is not undergoing aldol condensation, then what will happen? There is no alpha hydrogen, okay? it should not have any alpha hydrogen. Now if you see the particular example dichloroacetaldehyde, okay? so I have uh, dichloroacetaldehyde, so we have like this dichloroacetaldehyde. Then I have trichloroacetaldehyde, trichloroacetaldehyde, okay. Then we have acetaldehyde, okay, acetaldehyde, then we have acetone, okay. So you can see that here there is no alpha hydrogen, so definitely this one will not react. Option number B will be the correct answer, okay. Next question number 17, which is the most suitable reagent for the following conversion? Again, the same question was asked in 2019. So, if you see here, there is, you can see the repetition of the question, CH3 is getting converted to COH and this can happen in the presence of iodoform reactions, so I2 and NaOH, okay. Very easy question, 30 seconds is also enough, this is a repeated question. Let us see the next question now, you have to, okay, reagents, you have to identify A, B and C. This question was asked in 2019, I will say very easy and but tricky question, okay. This is a very important question here, you need to know. So first of all, if you see the first one, what is happening? CHO is getting reduced, right? CHO is getting reduced to CH2OH. See, for this what you need, NaBH4, okay, you can need NaBH4 and you can also use hydrogen palladium okay so i think all these options can be correct okay um yes so we have option number a ch2oh 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 okay okay fine fine one more thing is here okay if you use h2 palladium okay very 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 important point see if you use h2 palladium this double bond will also get reduced okay but we don't want to reduce the double bond double bond has to be there in the product so that is why we cannot use h2 and palladium okay option number a and d we cannot use it has to be nabh4 okay next question if you see this part is oxidized to cho right that means it's a mild oxidation we need pcc here we have alkaline kmno4 so this one will not work this one will work next here you see this double bond is also reduced this cho group is also reduced so here we can use h2 palladium so option number c will be the correct answer okay Next question number 19, propanoic acid undergoes HVZ reaction to give chloropropanoic acid. The product obtained is, okay, so here this question was 2019 and you have, again, this is on the acidic order, very easy question. Chloropropanoic acid, if I get, right, this will be chloropropanoic acid and this is a strong electron withdrawing group, so that, that is why it will uh, definitely increase the acidity. So the product obtained is stronger acid than propanoic acid, option number A, okay. I hope why this is clear, why is it uh, stronger acidic, uh, stronger than propanoic acid because it is an electron withdrawing group and we know electron withdrawing group increases the acidity. Next question number 20 here. Uh, we have P, H2 palladium, barium sulfate is giving you Q and then concentrated NaOH and dilute HCl will give you R and S. So R and S form benzyl benzoate when treated with each other. Okay, R and S form benzyl benzoate means this is what? This is the ether, uh, sorry, esters, right? Okay, uh, forms benzyl benzoate when treated with each other. Hence, P is, okay. Now, if you remember, concentrated NaOH is used in which reaction? Canizaro reaction, right? Now, Canizaro reaction, one of the product is acid and one of the product is alcohols. And we know acids and alcohols will react to give you esters. So, we have this one, benzyl benzoate. So, if I draw this one, let us first uh, draw the product. So, we have benzoyl uh, benzoate, right? So, I will get like this, okay. So, that means this group must be or this compound Q must be benzaldehyde, okay. Q must be benzaldehyde. Then how can we get benzaldehyde from P? P 
must be then this is C6H5COCl right this is if C6H5COCl is treated with hydrogen and barium sulphate we will get CHO this is which name reaction this is Rosenmond reaction right preparation of aldehydes from acid chlorides. So, this is very simple question but yes tricky question we should have this one this is P ok. Then if you treat it with H2 palladium barium sulphate we will get benzaldehyde this is Q and when you treat with this one we will get this uh, 2RNS ok. So, option number C will be the correct answer here. Okay, which of the following compounds undergo haloform reaction? So, for haloform reaction I need CH3CO group right. So, this is question was asked in 2019 again very easy question. So, you can see here nothing this group is present only in this option. So, option number A has to be the correct answer. Next the appropriate reagent for the following transformation. So, here what is happening this O group is reduced to H2 right. So, this has to be your uh, either Clemenson reduction or uh, it can be uh, sorry wolf kissner reduction right. Now, if you see we have both the options present we can eliminate these two options right. Now, how to check now see this OH ok this OH is what it is behaving as an acid group right. OH can behave as an acid. So, this medium must be a base one to give it a neutral solution. So, option number B will be the correct answer here ok. Next question number 23, in the following reaction you have to find the product again ok. So, CrO2, Cl2, CS2, X and H3O plus will give you Z. So, this if you have remembered this is etard reaction ok and etard reaction this question was asked in 2018 simple name based question easy question. Etard reaction will finally give you benzaldehyde. So, option number B will be the correct answer here ok. But I will say this question was really tricky question you need to be putting importance here ok. Now, when there is an I will rep repeat once again when they we have an alcohol group it can behave as an acid right. So, to make maintain the uh, neutrality of the medium we should give a base in the medium. So, that is why Wolf Kissner will be the correct answer. Next question number 24 lower members of aliphatic carboxylic acids are soluble whenever water solubility question comes in 2017 it was asked you should be immediately thinking about the hydrogen bonds because of formation of hydrogen bonds in water. So, option number A super easy question 30 seconds is more than enough. So, let us see the next question now reduction of ketones cannot be carried out with which of the following reagents ok 2017 question. So, hydrogen in presence of palladium N, barium sulphate and quinoline. So, here students you should remember that if you use hydrogen palladium in presence of barium sulphate ok. So, barium sulphate and quinoline this acts as a poisoning agent ok it reduces the rate of the reaction. So, we cannot reduce ketone in presence of this one. So, correct answer will be option number A question was asked in 2017 easy question, but you should know this if only H2 palladium is there it will work, but with barium sulphate and quinoline we cannot use ok. Next NABH4 or LILH4 we can use zinc am amalgam that is your Clemenson reduction hydrogen that is your Wolf Kissner reduction is can be done ok. Next question number 26 in the following sequence of reaction you need to find the product and product C is ok. So, this question was also asked in 2017 easy question I can say first of all if KCN is used we will get CH3CN which is option number A then if you do H, uh, H3O plus we will get CH3COOH and then if you treat it with lithium aluminum hydrate we will get CH3 CH2OH ok. So, we will get what ethyl alcohol option number B will be the correct answer here. So, students let us see the next question here Canizaro reaction is an example of auto oxidation ok. It is a typical reaction of aliphatic aldehydes no it is not that every aliphatic aldehyde will react to this it is you know HCHO. So, this one will not react with this it is an uh, reaction answered by only aldehydes containing not alpha hydrogen ok not containing alpha hydrogen. So, this option was wrong. So, I corrected the option yes this is the correct option it is not dependent whether it is aliphatic or aromatic the point is it should not have any alpha hydrogen ok fine. Next question benzene carbaldehyde is reacted with concentrated NaOH solution to give product A and B. 
the product A can be used as food preser preservative and product B is an aromatic hydroxy compound where OH group is linked to sp3 carbon ok. Uh, sp3 hybridized carbon atom next to the benzene ring the products a and b are so 2016 question again a super easy question canizaro reaction you should be knowing here benzaldehyde if it is there okay and if you treat with canizaro reaction you will get sodium benzoate which is used as a preservative and you will get benzyl alcohol okay which is OH group attached to an sp3 carbon right so we'll get sodium benzoate sodium benzoate sodium benzoate and uh, phenol no phenyl methanol yes we'll get phenyl methanol or benzyl alcohol option number b cresol picric acid we won't get next question number 29 predict the product c in the following series of reaction okay so this question also we have al almost discussed 2016 question similar easy reaction based question first of all what we will get ch3 co cl we will get okay then this is your a okay next we have c6 h6 so this is your what we say friedel craft acylation reaction so i will get c double bond o C6H5 okay next we will get CH3 MgBr so that means here it will be added so we will get two phenyl groups okay then we will get OH and I will get CH3 and then I will get another CH3 group. So what will be the product here uh, okay I did a mistake sorry this uh, once again so we have uh, C6H6 right this was CH3 from before this group will be added we have CH3 and another CH3 will be added here so this is also not required we will have uh, two CH3 groups okay so two CH3 groups one OH group and one C6H5 group so that is option number D will be correct answer right this will be the product here what is thing here there is no benzene ring here there is benzene ring but there is no other CH3 group and this option is also incorrect D is the correct answer here. Next the formation of cyanohydrin from a ketone is an example of 2015 question very easy question that is nucleophilic addition reaction option number A. Next iodoform can be prepared from all except okay iodoform means CHI3. So for iodoform reaction we need this group that is CH3CO group should be present okay. So if you see propane 1 OL or if it is an alcohol then it should have CH3 CHOH group okay if this group is present or this group is present then iodoform reaction will happen but if you see propane 1 OL structure it is like this CH3 CH2 CHOH okay now this one will not react for give you iodoform so correct answer has to be option number D again easy question 30 second time is enough. Now let us see question number 32 here that acetic acid is treated with calcium hydroxide and the product so obtained is subjected to dry distillation the final product is so this is also important question asked sorry this is also important question asked uh, one second. Yeah, this is also important question asked in 2015 okay so first of all if acidic acid is reacting with acidic uh, calcium hydroxide so what product we will get so a salt formation takes place here of calcium acetate okay then what happens from here calcium carbonate is reduced okay if you do dry distillation calcium carbonate will be removed okay so then these two will join and we will get acetone ch3 co ch3 that is propanone so correct answer is option number d this question i can say easy to moderate because many of you might not have studied this reaction but it is there a very important reaction next 33 the uh, distinguishing uh, test between methanoic acid and ethanoic acid 2015 question so if you see this is also easy question tolerance test okay methanoic acid will give you tolerance test whereas ethanoic acid will not give you so option number a will be correct answer here next iodoform reaction is answered by all except so for iodoform reaction what group we need ch3 co group should be present asked in 2014 again the easy question if you know this particular concept so if you are if it is an alcohol then it should have this group ch3 CHOH this group should be present right so here you can see this group is present so this one will react so the question is asking which will 
uh, not react except right so i'll write this one will react here also we have ch3 co group this one will react if you see this one ch3 ch2 oh okay now this particular compound is not having ch3 ch okay this is also having right ch3 ch oh group this is also present so this one will also react if you see last one here this group is not present so this one will not react option number d will be the correct answer okay next question if you see uh, first we have c6 h5 coh with uh, an uh, ammonia right so that will what it will give you it will give you a amide okay next if you treat it with NaOBr that is Br2 in presence of NaOH so this is a reaction that you studied in the amines chapter so this question was asked in 2014 okay so amines chapter this if you remember this is a Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction so what will I get here we will get aniline here okay now after if you react with concentrated sulfuric acid so now this from up to this it was the chapter aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acid Q2R reaction is your from the chapter amines so you see how the concepts from different chapters can be easily mixed in organic chemistry so that is why it is very important to master all the four chapters of organic chemistry okay so now if you uh, react this one with sulfuric acid so this acts as a base this is an acid so first what i will get here is salt formation happens nh4 plus and hso4 minus after that what happens after that there is exchange and we get here nh2 and here we get SO3H okay and that is nothing but your sulfonylic acid option number C is the correct answer here okay fine next question number 36 match the following again 2014 question this is very easy question I can say so acetic acid acetic acid has an alpha hydrogen so it can react so it will give you HVZ reaction so one is C so we can eliminate these two option I have here also one sodium phenate sodium phenate will give you Coles reaction so 2 can be either D or A so 2 is D here this is also wrong so correct answer will be option number C okay now if you see methyl cyanide it will undergo Stefan reduction so 3 has to be A and then Tolvin can undergo Friedel-Crafts reaction so 4 has to be B okay next 37 acidic strength of active methylene group 2014 again this is easy to moderate level question okay so now if you see active methylene group is uh, asked so now let us draw all the structures first structure is ch3 c double bond o we have ch2 and then uh, c double bond o o and c2 h5 okay now if this is there this is the active methylene group okay here this uh, h will be the most acidic h it will be removed and this is minus is there now if you see option number two i'll get ch3 c double bond o ch2 c double bond o and then ch3 right this is again here i'll get the sorry this one and here there will be the most active H will be produced here next I have here C2H5 wait CH2 CH3 then I have O then I have CO then I have CH2 C double bond O and then I have again O and then C2H5 okay so here from this H this uh, H will be abstracted and we will have the minus group here okay so now this is asking which methylene group is the most acidic one okay that is the question now here you need to check one thing now see if this methylene group this negative charge is well uh, distributed it is undergoing good resonance then it will be more stable right now in all the options you can see this can undergo resonance on this both sides right so how to then find out okay now see in the first option this one can go here very easily suppose this I'm saying it can go 100% to this side definitely but here what happens this oxygen is also there right this oxygen is also donating electrons so this carbon is not as electrophilic as this carbon so what will happen this one will go to this side but not very good uh, like in a better way because this one is having already this carbon is not electron deficient okay so I am putting here like this okay here it is going good 
here it is going good because here there is no uh, this carbon is electron deficient but this carbon is not electron deficient because there is one oxygen is present which can donate electrons as well so this carbon this this side it will be reduced now if you see here here it will go very good here also it will go very good because there is no group which is because both the carbons are highly electrophilic in nature now if you see here this is this carbon is also not electrophilic this carbon is also not electrophilic because of the oxygens present here so this distribution will be least okay that means it is least acidic so we will have the third one in the last so we can have these two options right now if you see the second one will be the highest because here both the carbons are equally electrophilic and the distribution takes place very well so we will get here 2 1 and 3 that is option number c okay now i'll repeat once again this concept might be new for many of you if there is an ester groups right the oxygen lone pair is also doing resonance with this carbon this carbon is not electrophilic so this resonance will be decreased but if you compare here these carbons are like hunger they are very hungry for electrons because they are electron deficient so that is why this resonance will happen in a better way and this uh, conjugate base is very stable so that is why the order has to be this will be the highest one then this one and then this one so b a c that is option number c okay fine next question number 38 why can be obtained by itard's reaction okay why can be obtained by itard reaction is why is benzaldehyde right z undergoes disproportionation reaction with concentrated alkali so x could be okay so if it is undergoing an uh, what i can say if it is undergoing a uh, reaction with concentrated alkali x then it it must be uh, some aldehyde which is not having alpha hydrogen we are talking about canizaro reaction here right so if you see now this is also easy question now if you see first product has to be benzaldehyde definitely one product has to be benzaldehyde so which one will give you benzaldehyde see this one will not give you benzaldehyde on ozonolysis this one can give you benzaldehyde this one can give you benzaldehyde right this one can also give you benzaldehyde ozonolysis i i hope all of you know the mechanism just you need to break the double bond add oxygen on both sides so if i break the double bond i'll get oxygen here here also i'll get here also i'll get but the next part so if option number c i take okay what are the products for option number c one will be definitely benzaldehyde the another product will be your acetaldehyde right but acetaldehyde will undergo will not undergo canizaro reaction because it is having alpha hydrogen the same thing applies here we'll get acetone acetone will not undergo canizaro reaction that is also not possible but if you see here option number b what is the product one product definitely is benzaldehyde and the another product is hcho okay this one because it is not having any alpha hydrogen it will undergo uh, what it will or can is a reaction right so that is why your x has to be option number b okay next question number 39 when uh, this compound is given reacts with one mole of hi one of the major product formed is so this is about cleavage of ether right you have ch2 double bond ch o ch2 ch3 now here if you see the bond cannot break here because there is resonance here this bond is very strong so bond has to break here and here if it is breaking this one will go h this one will go i so we will get iodo ethane that is option number c okay next question number 14 acetophenon cannot be prepared easily starting from so it can be prepared you need to think about easily it cannot be prepared in which method so 2014 question again this is also easy question so c6h5oh ch3 what is the structure of acetophenon we have like this okay this is acetophenon uh now this one if you take oh here you just oxidize it okay pcc you give it will give you acetophenol so this one can work if you have c6h5ch3 okay we have to think now if you have c6h5 triple bond ch then you can just add h and oh then it will undergo tautomerization and this one also can give and here we can easily get with friedel craft acylation but with this method with this react uh, reactant it is difficult to get uh your acid uh, acetophenone so the correct answer here will be option number b okay 
uh, okay so students these were the top 40 questions that were asked previously in the chapter aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acid some questions were little tricky were little difficult so yes this chapter carries very much weightage very important question you can easily expect four to five questions from this particular chapter in your case at 25 examination so please do not neglect and uh, this question can be, this chapter can be easily related with the amines chapter, alcohols chapter, okay. So, mixture of a lot of questions can be asked. So, please, please prepare this question uh, in this chapter very well. And if you have any doubt in any question, any concept you are not clear, any reasoning you didn't understand, please do not forget to comment down. I will definitely address it, okay. Thank you for watching and if you are thinking that this case series that we have started for you all people is helping you, then please subscribe the channel and join our WhatsApp channel as well. So, once again, thank you all the very best for your preparation and see you soon in the next class, okay. Thank you once again.